Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to remove all ads within Cydia and Safari by modifying a host file within our iPhone. Now this will work for Cydia when you are browsing for apps, tweaks, or themes, and you won't have to wait for the advertisement to load to begin downloading, and it will work Safari when you are browsing web pages because you won't have to wait for the advertisements to pop up for you to begin reading. So on the right hand side we have our modified host file without the advertisement, and on the left hand side we have the original host file with the advertisement and you can see the difference. So to begin this we first will be needing OpenSSH which is a tweak here or a program within Cydia that allows our computer to communicate with our iPhone and this allows us to transfer over the host file via our internet. Now on our computer you will be needing the modified host file which will be down in the description below and then our file transfer protocol, I am using Cyberduck for Mac, but you can use WinSCP for Windows. All the links will be in the description below. Next, you want to go ahead and open up your connection and change it to an SSH file transfer protocol to communicate to our device. Now on our device, we'll be needing the IP address. So for this, you want to head over to your settings and then click on Wi-Fi and then click on the little information indicated with the I in the circle and note our IP address. Now mine will be different from yours depending on which device you have connected to your computer but for this you just want to go ahead and enter in that 192 um, digit number right into the server address so 192.168.1.27 is mine and then for your username and password your username is root R -O -O -T, and the password is alpine A-L-P-I-N-E and then just go ahead and connect and this will set up a um, secure file transfer protocol between our iPhone and our computer. Now we will be having to go to the directory, the main directory all the way back so just go ahead and click on that slash which indicates the first directory and head over to etc. Now this is where you might want to go ahead and save the original host file so to do this right click on your host file and then you can just go ahead and download to and I usually save this and make a folder known as the original host file just in case anything does go wrong within the process you have your original host file now we'll be needing to get our upgraded or the modified host file and transfer that over the original host file Now I've already done this and you can see that the new modified host file is roughly 576 kilobytes while the untouched or the original host file is roughly 276 kilobytes. So you just want to go ahead and drag that over to it and then it will ask you in the transfer just go ahead and click continue to overwrite the original host file and you should be good to go. Now you can see in my transfer history that I've already transferred over the original host file you can see it's 236 kilobytes while the new one is 576 kilobytes so you can see if you've done that correctly. So that's everything on our computer and we can head back over to our iPhone and just do a simple respring for all the changes to take into place. And then once you have completed that respring, you can go ahead and unlock your device and head over to Cydia and you will see that all the advertisements within Cydia and Safari will be gone. Now bear in mind there will be advertisements that will still slip through depending on which directory that are being blocked. But you can see for this record in touch application here that the modified host file on the left does not show the advertisement while the untouched host file on the right will show the advertisement and then if we just go ahead and head over to ESPN you can see after I do a simple refresh that the advertisement on the right is still there while on the modified iPhone on the left the host or excuse me the advertisement is gone so guys let me know if you have any questions on modifying your host file to remove Cydia and Safari ads. Thanks guys.